and it's such a lovely day. Why don't we measure out where this new house is gonna go? Kind of wanting the house to point towards the I think both of our first reactions are this is quite a lot smaller than we expected. I guess we'll mark out the rooms and just get a feel for walking around the area. And this is Reese's room, three by three. <laughs> the living area seems tiny. Thoughts? It's a small house. seem more manageable then. I found that to be a really useful exercise. I've been wanting to be on the land just to, just to kind of mark out the house dimensions and, and kind of walk around it and get a proper feel. I feel like the living area is smaller than I thought. Just wondering if, if we should just make the plans just like a meter wider for the living area. Maybe make Reese's room a smidgen bigger, our room a smidgen bigger. I don't know. Things to contemplate. Because this house will hopefully be our forever home, basically. I'm actually moving a whole lot of stuff that was in the container into Vinny. Vinny's back to being a storage place for now. Because it's a bit of a... Uh, a puzzle. We've got a few other big items still to go in the container and I need to sort out those shelves and paint everything and it's just going to be easier to store everything here for now. <laughs> but shuffle shuffle back and forth. Success! There's actually space for my brother to move his stuff in now. It's, yeah, I think it's going to be a slow ongoing process really. And after marking out our house idea, actually where it would go, I realized it is too small. Why spend all this money getting it when it's just not quite the right size? So really handy exercise, to be honest. I've been playing around with different plans and I've extended it two meters on this side I think it's a better solution. Getting rid of a bit more of the deck, actually playing around with the idea of maybe uh, giant sliding doors on the front. Haven't shared that fact with Hayden because it would be very painful to get it from Hamilton to the land and then to somehow install it. But we'll see, we'll see. <laughs>
beautiful still sunny day and at the crack of dawn looks like the neighboring farmer had something sprayed onto his paddocks and my brother's actually staying on the land for a few days while Hayden's working in Wellington so it's just him and I and first time he's probably stayed in the caravan he stayed on the guest bed which is what I call it the seating area that converts into a bed before haven't really enjoyed that but this time it's just him in the caravan in the proper bed he finally realizes why I quite enjoy caravanning <laughs> today we're going to make the most of the weather and finally plant some of my crazy number of plants that I bought built a whole lot of cages ready for the plants stop the rabbit from uh, absolutely destroying them and you can definitely see where the horses have been a very good lawnmower and just one week's difference and leaves have suddenly appeared on the trees around the property I would like to say officially that spring has started now And I've got a nice pile of horse manure from being a nice neighbour. I have read online that I can't actually use it for six months though. And now for the tree lessons. Apparently I'm a slave driver. And there was a frost this morning, so so glad we moved the plants in here. I'm just going to check the new plants we put in as well. We put frost cloth around all the new plants. This one looks like it kind of semi blew off. Will be interesting to see how the tree lucerne goes, if it still survives. And then the lupin, the whole cage fell over. I don't have enough pegs right now, that's something I need to buy.